Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more of Elysian Eclipse. I've been thinking about what to make next in this game, and while scrolling through my own YouTube feed, I saw Charizard, and for some reason I just thought to myself, hey, let's just make Charizard. And this will actually be a very good comparison, because in Spore, making Pokemon are actually quite difficult, especially in vanilla Spore without mods. So what starts off as a bit of a funny like, hmm, maybe, maybe not. I'm actually thinking, no, this would be quite a good demonstration. Could we actually do like Pokemon-like creatures in this game? And perhaps I'll try and fit that theory into a couple of other genres as well afterwards, but we'll just see how this one does first. And of course, a big thing about the current state of Elysian Eclipse is the fact that in this version, we do not have any legs. There's no legs, no limbs or anything. So it really is going to make quite a big difference then as to whether or not I could do such a thing. Now, obviously, you know, when we do get limbs, it'd be a different story entirely. But for the time being, I just feel like giving it a go. And I just noticed I'm doing this in a wrong angle. I think what would be quite a nice thing to do, actually, is that when you're really zoomed in, like maybe have a compass appear, just so that you don't have to rotate and zoom out to see the arrow. Yeah, I think that might be quite handy. I mean, I guess it's not you know, too much difficult to do that. But since the game is in development, it's definitely the right time to provide feedback. So, anyway, first thing I want to do is get his neck and body. But I want these all to merge though, so we have to try and find a balance here between trying to get like a nice, long, thin neck. And like I said, this should just be like quite a interesting little experiment. Okay, I think that'd be a bit of a interesting start right there. Uh, let me also do myself a big favor and then we just get the colors in immediately, as I think that'll just save me so much hassle later on. And do I want to give this a texture? Oh, you know what? I kind of do want to give it a texture. I think... Hmm. I think for now, maybe I'll just give it... See, I kind of want to give it that, but it's a bit too dark. I think that one there will be nice, actually. So, I think about like that. So let me just quickly do myself a favor. I'm going to set all of these to group one. That way, whenever I add new parts, it won't immediately have the texture. It'll be like a nice clean part. Now, for the feet, there's a bit of an issue, right? Where in this game, currently in this version, I cannot place feet on either side. If you're familiar with the vehicle editor in Spore, it is just like that, where everything is very central. However, I can put things on the ground quite like this and it's uh, let me tell you it does involve some rather interesting results in fact it kind of already is <laughs> it looks like a really weird carrot or like some kind of i don't know weird vegetable <laughs> with little feetsies well thankfully the merge function fixes that entirely for me thank goodness so let's go ahead and get the same orange get the same uh, texture in and i think i have two of these down here as well that way it is long but still quite thin and then what I really want to do is grab this detail part here. Oh, I can't texture it. Ah, okay then. So the whole texturing and patterning feature is only accessible to the cell membranes at the moment. That, that's fair. That's entirely okay. It's obviously, you know, work in progress. But it does mean that I probably can't have that texture everywhere else. Um, we'll see. We'll see what it means so far. But what I want to do here then is give him some long, thin thighs, which I know is a very strange sentence out loud. Okay, so it's already taken me a fair bit of trial and error, and I finally have uh, some semblance of feet. I decided to skip a joint. Originally, I was going to make it bend at the knees, but I figured that if I do it this way, it kind of gives the illusion that it's got like a typical, you know, like double joint, what, two jointed leg that you see like dogs and such. But really, is only two pieces? I don't know, it, it kind of works, but mainly the thing is that I cannot stack details on details. It doesn't work that way. So that, I guess, works for now. Uh, my boy is looking interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Right, I am actually thinking that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the um, textures on the rest of this. Where it's got a textured body, but not textured limbs, it's already looking very strange. And the head and wings are, of course, going to be made of textures uh, or decorations as well. Oh no, the wings! How am I going to do the wings? I shouldn't have started with Charizard, should I? Well, on the plus side, at least I can make his underbelly nice and easily by using the cell membrane one, giving it 2D mode, and then reducing the merge. And huzzah, we've already got that as our base and now I have to do that like a dozen times more. I'm already starting to think that this may have not been a good idea. <laughs> on the one hand, I'm getting crisper colours and shapes than I ever would in Spore, but on the other hand, um, look at it. Oh, on the plus side, inspiration, um, or inspiration? No, Eureka? I don't know. Could I use the mouth to enunciate the knees? No, I cannot. That's just as well, because I've got no idea what it was I just said either. 
Right, well in any case, let us try and make the rest of the tail. You can see I'm definitely doing things backwards, so don't question it at all. There's no reason why I'm procrastinating every other more important detail. I'm gonna make the tail first. And by doing that, I'm gonna increase the merge and just try and blob out a tail-like figure. And then just to tip off the tail, let's go ahead then and get a big conal part. I don't think that's gonna work. Actually, it will work because I I have an idea. Let's go ahead then and make it as long and sharp. Well, it is as sharp as possible. Uh, oh crap, that's not very tall at all. Damn it, I was hoping it'd be so much taller. Unless, 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 unless. I... That's not gonna work either. Oh crud, I don't think this is possible. Okay, alternative. I've got a shiny, and using this shiny, I'm going to make this red. We're just going to pretend that the tip of the tail is engulfed in flame. Okay, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, let's just do that instead. Hey, on the plus side, you can make a pretty good looking flame. Kinda. Okay, so for the next thing I want to do, I want to give him some shoulders. Uh, and the shoulders are embedding into his collarbone. That is excellent and definitely what I wanted. So at least he's got some shoulder definition. There we go, increase the Y mark just a little bit. That kind of works like that. And... <laughs> I guess use this. I don't really have much of a choice right now. Oh no, this is not working. Oh dear God. Wait, hold on. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. I can't rotate it the way I want. Oh no, <laughs> I literally can't do the one I want without like doing everything. I need a new one. <laughs> I need a fourth rotation dimension. I didn't even know I could find the fourth dimension, but I need it. And I can't put this on the detail parts either that's only affects the body right so in that case in that case i'm gonna make this long like that and i'm just going to hold on oh no because it keeps on like embedding inside <laughs> inside the body no oh that's not gonna work is it Okay, it's not the arms he deserves, but it's the arms he's going to get. Uh, they're just pointed downwards and he's looking very happy with himself. Is there like literally anything I can finagle onto that part? I don't think there is. So I think they're just going to remain as um, awkward little tips there. All right, and now for the head. Oh dear God, I am going to regret making this head. So first of all, let's just reduce all the merge and make it a lot smaller. And I'm going to stick it like the... I guess like he he does have like a really long neck, so I guess actually this is kind of normal right now. Uh, let me just like stick a bit there, and then I can just stick like another bit here. One thing I do want to note, as much of a train wreck as this is, I do want to note that it is getting much easier to navigate and just like basically just use the uh, settings and such. It may have been like a little bit uh, complicated or a bit intimidating at first, but I'm definitely getting the hang of it, and it's really you know starting to feel very natural. So. If you're worried about that, uh, don't be. It's definitely quite nice and easy to get the hang of and have it be second nature after a while of use. Those are his tiny little horns. He's looking more like a Dratini or a Dragonair than he is a Charizard so far. I suppose what I will do then is just give him tiny little eyes like that and then maybe I can kind of like embed it in, give him like some really big angry eyebrows. Make it really small like that. There we go. Okay then, so I suppose that <laughs> kind of works. I like how his eyebrows are bigger than his horns. Okay then, so next thing to do then should be to add those little nostrils. You should hopefully be like the easiest part of all of this. Uh, I say that now, I'm probably going to regret that in a moment. There we go, screw it. That'll work, right? There we go. I'll give him some tiny little teethies as well. And then for the wings, the wings, the wings, the wings. I'm not... I don't, I don't think I can do the wings. Uh, I'm genuinely here, like, as creative as out of the box I'm trying to think of it. I cannot place things, you know, outside of the middle axis, so I don't actually think I can make wings. Um, even if I make the parts, like, really as flat as possible. I mean, actually, let me try one thing, uh, now that I think about it. So let me try one thing. I will just shove uh, this here in the middle. So, zero merge, 
make it small and just put it like around here temporarily. Give like a little, weird little lump on his neck. And what if I were to make that as flat as possible? Make it as long as possible. Yeah, see, okay, yeah, like even if it's as long as possible. I was hoping that maybe I can kind of branch it out like a butterfly, but clearly, <laughs> clearly no, no, that is, that is not going to work. So alternatively then, alternatively, this is the best I can do. Bear with me right here. Oh, actually, I say that and I just had a second idea. This might work. Might, might, might. Can make it as big as possible. Uh, uh, no, it's already failing. It's already crashing and burning. It's gone. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. No, Charizard, what have I done to you? <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. We'll keep it as is then. Let's get one more lovely bit of neck orange and let's just uh, shove this like that and hold on wait for it there we go oh it's on his neck oh good lord no i forgot something important there we go now we are complete that is my charizard so for those wondering if it's possible to make a pokemon in an eastern eclipse at least in version 0.1.2 this is very 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 early i'm gonna say kind of all things considered, it's got better colours than Spore. <laughs> but the colours are better. The the nice, you know, shape and the way that each part differs from each other, the, the artificialness that Pokemon have, that is better. Um, in terms of a organic creature that actually looks like it can survive, no, not not yet, not yet. I am honestly thinking I probably should have just stuck to the um, to the cell membrane. The cell membrane, even though it's shinier, just has a much nicer texture. So noted. Then again, though, I do like the contrast between um, the skin and the fire. So at least I got that going for me. But um, yeah. Well, there you go then. So if you have any ideas as to what else I can attempt to make in Elysian Eclipse, let me know. Maybe like in a couple of months down the line, when we have a new version, I could try this again and do like a before and after. I think that'd be really good actually. So consider this like the early draft and in the future, I'll give you the proper draft. Or, or at least a future version anyway. Maybe we could do like a timeline, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, thank you for watching, give me ideas. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Cheers.